Hey guys, it's a bunch of welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Black. Thank <coughs> you, ah. In the last episode, let's jump. Uh, the last episode, we battled most of the trainers, oh, actually all the trainers in the gym that I know of. And, um, so yeah, in this episode, we're going to be taking on the gym leader, so. Yeah, he, this dude, is easier. I think his name is Bryson or Brian. Stop it, cat. My cat's on my bed. My bed, sorry. Alright, this dude is so oh my god, he's so easy. He's easier than um uh what's his name? Cole? No. Um Oh yeah, Roar. Why is it gonna be Cole? Yeah, that's right. Whatever. Alright, so instead of rock though, he is the so we're gonna be taking on this guy and we'll find out they have more of a connection than we actually think. Ah, oh, that's the awkward gym match. I see I see you defeated my son. Your son? But that's no surprise, he still has much to much to uh, learn. Please my son, we'll go I I burn. I burn. We'll take your challenge. I bet it, I need to use like Brian or something like that. Byron. I always call him like Brian, but Leader Byron. I mean, maybe that's what it's called, Brian, but I'm gonna call him, uh, uh, Bra Byron. I think he starts with a Magneton. I actually didn't know that, but I thought he was gonna start with a Bronzor. He may not have a Bronzor, which I hope he doesn't, because, uh, in case you guys didn't know, you probably didn't, but you, did, you probably didn't know, but Bronzor is my least favorite Pokemon. It's an okay Pokemon, but it's annoying. So here's when my other Pokemon come into play, Steelix. I'm gonna send in Pluto, because Pluto may actually get the job done a little bit better and a little bit faster, because I don't want to have to risk my fire fight. Actually, no, I just want to make beat this battle quicker, because... To beat this battle in like three minutes, probably not a new record, but for my levels, maybe. Oh, of course I get that one. Of course. Of course. I'm a little worried for that, but I think Pluto's defense will, uh, still, you know, want to save a little bit. I hope he, um, kills again, because I want him to use all of his, his healing items, or his two full restores. He's, like, he's six gym leader, yeah, he has four restores. Damn, alright, because I want him to use both of them, I'm not sure if he did all the time, but I don't think he did. I want him to use all the skill items so I don't have to deal with them for his strongest Pokemon, Bastiodon. Now, if you're wondering how do I get it, how do I get a Bastiodon? Well, oh, what's this? My last one? This is where we make our step. <coughs> oh shit, the floor broke! Now, this oh, this is the evolution of Shieldon. Shieldon is a fossil. I'm not sure if I can get I don't remember. I can't remember, actually. I don't remember where you get the fossils. Um, you get them somewhere. I'm not sure if you can already get them or not. I can't remember. Damn. Hmm. Well, this thing has high defense and high special defense. Mostly defense, I believe. But this thing is to be feared. It's strong. Yay! Does it know Doom Desire? I don't think it does. Metal Burst. Yeah, I don't. I'm not sure what Pokemon can learn Doom Desire. Um, if you didn't know uh, what the move Doom Desire is, it is a move. Um, I think either Steel or Dark type. Um, something like that. Oh, this isn't risky at all. He's gonna heal. That is right now you're gonna be able to cheapskate. What he did? He did it? Nice though. Nice. So we prevail with my underlevel team. That's all you get? Damn. You're strong enough to take my prize to my Pokemon. And recognition recognition. For recognition of that power, I will give you this. The mind badge. Let me see if we got the mind badge. The mind badge. 
Keep in mind that it enables me to do strip you know, the hidden move strength anytime outside of battle. And now that you have 60 reps, that means all Pokemon up to 70 will obey you without question. Here, yeah, take this to Team 91! I can't remember what that is. Excuse me, oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So flash game. The hits, and they also lower the target special defense. Okay, we're gonna wanna head down here. Actually, no, you're not gonna wanna do that. You're gonna wanna. I believe this is the quickest route. Um, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. Hey, that's a mind bash. Good going. You're tough. Tough enough to consider becoming the Pokemon champ. Of course, I'm tough, so it's not actually gonna happen. Yeah, oh, yeah, okay. Anyway, Green, come to me. Come with me to the library and he runs over the library. No running in the hallways, children. This is actually part of the storyline. Too slow. Come on, let's move it. What? Move it on the dance floor. On the dance floor. This is required, so I'll be like, oh, I don't want to. It's required if you want to continue on. I don't think you have to do it right now, but yeah. Hey, Greedy, over here, over this way. Oh, I guess not. I'm Professor Ron over here. Or here, something. Okay, Grabs. I brought green, like I said. Alright. I'll be as here. Okay, I get it. Hmm, everyone's here. Finally, read everyone, listen. You may have forgotten already, but I studied the evolution of Pokemon. But the more I study, the more mysteries appear and multiply. Pokemon that evolve and those that don't. What makes them different from each other? Do those that are immature as living beings evolve to ones more mature? If so, what do we make out of the legendary Pokemon that don't evolve? Are we to assume that the legendary Pokemon are completed as creatures? This is where you three come in. In the three lakes of Sinnoh, there are Pokemon, which is said to be Mirage Pokemon. If we obtain data on them, it may shed some light on how the process of a Pokemon evolution works. I need help from each one of you with this grand undertaking. Help me find these Pokemon that are considered to be Mirages. What are you saying? I didn't get a Pokedex. And who is it that bolted from the lab before I had a chance to give you a Pokedex? But that's water under the bridge. Not really. It's land under the bridge, but okay. Get him. I was just trying to be smart and stupid, but okay. Seeing with, your eyes is important for you becoming a better trainer, too. You can count on me, I'll help with my Pokedex, too. Green, you'll go, too, won't you? I heard two, like, four times in that sentence. Those few sentences. Hmm, I would have made all of you go regardless, anyway. Now they're all three licks. Um, but, or obviously. The three of you, I made friends with them. We should therefore split up and investigate the lakes individually. Don, you go to Lake Fair. Will do! Anthony, I want you to investigate Lake Acuity. Acuity, I think. That will take you almost to Snow Point City. The road there is harsh. I need a tough train for you. Uh, yeah, of course, Gramps. You know how to call it. You, you can tell him the hottest. Hotness. Oh, I thought he said the hottest. Hottest. He says hotness. And you know what? I was going to catch this legendary Pokemon for you, you know, as thanks for giving this Pokemon Bag uh, 201. Even though I forgot completely about it until just now. Very well, I'm counting on you. And that leaves Green with, with Lake Valor. The lake between Veilstone and Pastoria, if memory serves. The home, the home, the home, the home. Has it stopped? All of you unharmed? What was that about? Wait, I mean the TV, the TV news, anything. We then have to observe that for like five seconds. What you just witnessed is an actual, is actual footage from the scene. It was taken by a cameraman who happened to be there. It's certainly impressive. Who knows what the explosion could, could expose at the lake. Red, is there an explosion? Hmm, but why a lake bell? It's got to sound I'm concerned about the time. You kids be careful going down the stairs. 
and we just sit at the table like an idiot. Or you should leave now too. Then maybe after shot, so I'll be alert always. Okay, what? Yeah, there's a lot of funny lines in here. I'll let you uh listen to them. I'll do a few of them. Tremor, it was wicked. I still had to find the book Disaster Strike Survival Guide. Nerd. I think she's like a little pussy. H Hello, this is the camera library. Please keep quiet, quiet when you're on a premises. It certainly wasn't me screaming. Gah! Or shouting. Help me! No, really, that wasn't me screaming. Yeah, uh, I believe that. I certainly do believe that. Sure that wasn't a natural occurrence. Hey, you. Hey, hey, old dudes and kids. Old, old dudes and kids. Did you hear? This thing was a huge explosion in Lake Ballard. But I hear everything's fine now. I guess it wasn't. I guess it was a lot of noise. Grabs. I'm gone. I have a bad feeling about this. And I think it can't sit still. Green, I don't like to demand, demand but I need you to Lake Ballard. It's possible for things to be okay. Not nah, after an explosion like that. I have an idea of what's taking place. But before you go, let me stress don't get in over here. We'll try and join you as soon as we inspect Lake Barry. You'll be okay, no matter what, right? Hell no, nah, bitch. I'm gonna die. No, alright, no, that's one under the bridge. Alright, now, guys, I don't get this. He said, oh, I have a bad feeling about this. Like, he's going to Lake Valor. No, he's going to Lake Acuity. Acuity. I think it's Acuity, but you guys could say Acuity. I don't know. Thanks for watching. Alright, so I'll see you guys in the next episode. When we will go check out Lake Valor because, you know, something's got to be up with the explosion. We gotta go check it out. The town could be in Lewis. We are going to save the world. Yawks, yes. Alright, well, whatever. See you guys in the next episode. Uh, wrong pocket. Let me just get that here. I'm just gonna give my team a few items. So really, see you guys in the next episode.